All right, Nerdlost Live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Tuesday. So, it feels like Wednesday or I don't know. <laughs> or maybe Monday because Memorial Weekend. Anyway, Daryl Lawson Live here. It is 2.30 in the afternoon, right on the nose. It's May 26, 2020. All right, tomorrow, SpaceX launches uh, two astronauts to the International Space Center. I'm hoping that it's going to go off with no glitches or hitches or snitches or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what, what rhymes with yeah, snitches? Anyways, will NASA... Will NASA sabotage the SpaceX flight tomorrow? I'm wondering that. Will they try to derail Trump's space plans? Think about that. Daryl, you don't trust NASA? Duh. Yeah, I mean, I was looking at some of the history of NASA and, and uh, the space programs and uh, U.S. government uh, programs in general. And I'm telling you, you want, you want to talk about Nazis? You want to talk about Nazis? The Nazis never disappeared. They were just brought over from Europe to the U.S. Yeah, they were given passports and U.S. citizenship. What? Oh, yeah, the official story is we're going to fight the Russians and we got to bring the Nazis over and cover up their evil deeds so that we can beat the Russians. Whatever makes you sleep better, whatever. Yeah, but no, it was Operation Paperclip that we know of. All right, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. I think it's c c c crazy. Sabotage. Sabotage is, is a deliberate action aimed at weakening uh, something, right? Uh, uh, an effort, organization, a president to disrupt them, right? Distru Did I say disrupt? Disrupt, yeah. I was putting dis disruption and destruction together, yeah. When who engages in it, sabotage is a saboteur. Saboteurs typically try to conceal their identities because of the consequences of their actions. Well, I hope that doesn't happen tomorrow. And the official story, uh, well, is this on some of the headline news. Trump to visit Florida tomorrow for SpaceX launch with NASA astronauts. Bloomberg, Washington, real clear politics. Trump to visit SpaceX rocket uh, launch tomorrow. Another one. Trump talks to reporters about SpaceX rocket launch visit. Yeah, well, you know, Trump has his uh, space program that he's pushing. But it's an election year, all right? It's an election year, Bob. I said it's an election year. I haven't forgotten about the Nazis. I'm going to go back and, and, and look at Operation Paperclip here. <clears throat> but don't forget it's an election year. We are coming to the final months before the probably, maybe, perhaps, uh, the greatest election the U.S., has ever had, and maybe the world. Because what happens in the U.S. here in the upcoming days and weeks and months is going to affect the nations. Yeah, uh, just like um, Trump's election in 2016 affected the, the nations. Probably up to that, maybe other than George Washington being elected the first president or um, appointed, whatever you want to say, uh, this election of Trump in 2016, up to then, probably that was the greatest, uh, most important election in U.S. history and even world history. Because don't forget, Trump kicked out Barack Obama out of, out, out of office. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Yeah. And this election may be even bigger. So, uh, pray, right? But keep your eyes open. Right, and everybody now is paying attention and has their smart devices and smartphones, and everybody's videotaping everything. And oh, by the way, <clears throat> the government, uh, the deep state, doesn't want people to go down there and visit the launch site. Oh no, it's COVID nineteen. And I thought, you know, is that about COVID nineteen or is that about uh, NASA doing some funky stuff, right, at the launch site? No, NASA, you know, is, is founded by a bunch of Nazis. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't get it really from Wikipedia. They'll they'll gloss it over. You got to go a little deeper to other ones like History.com. Uh, uh, I'm reading one from Operation Paperclip.info. Here's another one. AISH.com. Ma uh, major plot line. Uh, well, there was a show called uh, uh, TV show Hunters involved the uncovering of Operation Paperclip. The truth about bringing Nazis uh, into the U.S., uh, a top-secret program that brought thousands of Nazis officials into the U.S. 
And and I I like this better than Wikipedia because it says and help them help the Nazis to cover up their brutal past. Oh, don't worry, they're all Nazis uh, putting people into the concentration camp. I really believe the Vatican. Uh, I know the Vatican controlled the Nazis and Hitler, with the uh, knowledge of the U.S. government and other governments around the world. All people talked about Hitler being the, the the demon on the earth, but he was in partnership with the Vatican. This whole time that he was a chancellor. The U.S. knew that, knows that, knew that. The uh, U.S. governments were in cahoots with Hitler. Yeah, how many banks were, were aiding Hitler? How many U.S. companies were aiding Hitler? The U.S. government were in bed with Hitler. Well, if you understand that uh, U.S. presidents are picked by the Vatican and the Vatican controls Hitler, then well, duh. So it makes total sense that, oh, we got to bring the, the Nazis over to help start, you know, programs in the U.S. because we're fighting uh, the communists. By the way, that doesn't even make sense because the communists, Russia, U, the former USSR, they helped fight the Nazis in World War II. So we got to bring the Nazis over to the U.S. and start at NASA and all the other secret agencies uh, because we're fighting Russia. Well, Russia helped you fight the Nazis. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, and yet they blame Russia for everything on the planet, and yet they blame the Vatican for nothing. Just thought I'd mention that, and the Bible is clear about it, because the Bible calls the Vatican mystery, secret Babylon, evil system. And I keep on bringing that up because no matter what I see, probably 99% of what I see, people uncovering stuff about the New World Order, most of them don't connect it to the Vatican. And that's really a disservice of information, because... Whatever we uncover about the deep state and the new world order, you have to connect it. You should connect it to the Vatican because they run it for the last 2,000 years. And then before that, you have other empires, the devil, fallen angels used. I'm just saying what I know, Bob. Brought thousands of Nazis into the U.S. and helped them cover up their brutal past. Oh, nothing to see there. Just saying. And not only the U.S., but other countries as well. And that's why when you look at hunting Hitler, I think it was on the History Channel, uh, was it a year ago or so? And two year, uh, it was a two-season uh, series. It was great. That the U.S., the Red Cross, uh, the Vatican helped Hitler get out of, uh, out of Germany after World War II. He wasn't, he didn't commit suicide under, underneath the, his... His residence there in Germany? Uh, no, no. <clears throat> Actually, the body they found, I think, in that underground bunker that everybody was taught that was Hitler, actually was a female. <clears throat> it wasn't even a male body. The CIA know this, the FBI know this, because they were working... Uh, listen, just like Osama bin Laden were working, was, was working for the CIA, uh, Hitler was working for the Vatican, and the Vatican runs the CIA. Oh, just thought I'd mention that. Just say, yeah. It's a video I posted the other day that someone sent to me. It was uh, apparently Bill Gates briefing the CIA. Did you see that about vaccinations? And how it looked like it was him. It was from a distance. It was somebody recorded in the back of the room. I don't know who it was. But uh, Facebook has been crying the blues about it. Wah, 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 that's not real. And it, no, it looks like it's real. And they're trying to stop that video from circulating about Bill Gates apparently briefing the CIA about vaccinations against Christians. I think, I think, I think he labeled the fun vaccination. Yeah. It's creepy. It is creepy. If that is Bill Gates, which looks like it is him, he's just totally demonic. And even the CIA was questioning if that was Bill Gates. And Bill Gates does not like to be questioned. Does not like to be interrupted. <laughs> no, no. The little Nazi. I think Bill Gates is a Nazi. Sure. Why not? I think the Nazis just disappeared. Well, they died of old age. Is that neither? Of course. But there, that program and the Nazi and the fascism and, and communism is run right from the Vatican around the planet. Who do you think runs Cuba? Who do you think brought um, communism into China? Who do you think brought communism into Russia? The Vatican did. Well, duh. Who, who brought fascism into Germany? The Vatican did. Hitler's on record by saying that he, he 
he he uh, planned his whole Third Reich, his whole organization. Hitler said was uh, was copied uh, uh, after the Vatican's organization. Duh. <laughs> Here's one for Men's Health. Can you believe this? Men's Health. The recruiting for Operation Paperclip went on for a number of years. Program brought boons to the U.S. military and space pro and space and space programs. Moral consequences. Oh. There's a book actually from Amazon.com called The Operation Paperclip, The Secret Intelligence Program. Brought Nazis over to the U.S. Operation Paperclip solved this problem by ignoring and sanitizing the war crime records of the most valuable scientist Nazis and shipping them to America. Many of them were ultimately fa fast-tracked for U.S. citizenship. Oh, yeah, make those Nazis U.S. citizenship. Citizens. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it doesn't matter what they did. Well, yeah, well, and they, oh, well, we're doing it to fight the Russians. Sure you are. Sure you are. The name Operation Paperclip referred to the paper clips that were attached to the dossiers of most of the troublesome cases. It, was, it actually had a different name. Uh, I think it was originally called Operation Overcast. I think if I remember correctly, the original program, instead of being called Operation Paperclip, was called Operation Overcast. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Operation Paperclip was the code name on which the U.S. intelligence and military services extricated scientists from Germany during and after the final stages of war. Not only brought them to the U.S., but also brought them in, into South America and gave them passports. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the ones that, you know, like Hitler, oh, they, well, yeah, well, yeah. No, they couldn't have brought Hitler to the U.S. because that would have been too obvious. So they brought him down to South America. Which he lived his life out to old age and died died of old age. Well, I can't believe that. Well, you just don't know. What. Anyways, I bring this into the whole picture because I'm hoping that uh, well that NASA doesn't sabotage with their fascist roots SpaceX launch tomorrow, especially now that Trump uh, is going to visit the launch tomorrow there in Florida. Yeah, that's what all the headlines are saying. It's been now for the last several days. Trump uh, talks to reporters about SpaceX rocket launch. Trump, to, uh, yeah, UPI.com as well. Trump to visit Florida for space launch tomorrow. SpaceX launch. Now, that's Elon Musk's company. That's the first time, apparently, that a private company is, is putting people, uh, American astronauts, into space. A private company doing it rather than NASA. So I'm wondering, uh, well, there's a pattern, right? I was looking at these scriptures. Here's one, thehill.com, Trump to attend SpaceX launch in Florida. You know, I look at this, for instance, Ecclesiastes 1.9. We, we've probably heard this a hundred, if not thousands of times in our life, have we not? Uh, here's from the Easy English Translation. It says, history merely repeats itself. History repeats itself. It's history merely repeats itself. So I'm just saying. I wonder if NASA is going to sabotage SpaceX's plan tomorrow. Can they? Will they? I hope not, for the, for the sake of the astronauts. I'm looking at one of the uh, pictures of the two American astronauts are going up tomorrow. I'll probably put this on my profile pic for tomorrow. I mean, on, on this video. Uh, NASA. So the astronauts, astronauts are from NASA. Why would they do that? I don't know. They're crazy. That's why. NASA astronauts Bob Benken, B-E-H-N-K-E-N, -E and Doug Hurley were assigned to fly in the first, uh, I guess, test flight of SpaceX's crew Dragon. Dragon. I don't know all the details, but that's what they're saying. And it's an election year, and Trump's going to the launch. So I'm entitling this video, Will NASA Sabotage the SpaceX Flight to Derail Trump's Space Plans? To uh, you could say his, play his space plans, his election. Every time Trump gets on a momentum, which just happens to be all the time, they try to stop Trump's momentum. Uh, for instance, well, let me finish that scripture, Ecclesiastes 1, verse 9. History merely repeats itself. It all has been done before. 
Nothing under the sun is truly new. When you're dealing with the forces of darkness and the deep state and their strategies. Sure. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. He will not outsmart us, for we are familiar with his evil scheme. We're familiar because he does the same things over and over. Whether it's uh, in the Roman Empire, whether it's in the Medes and the Persians emp empires, the Grecian empires, the Egyptians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians. Uh, yeah. Grecians, Babylonians. <laughs> Egyptians, Assyrians, so forth and so on. Okay. Now, nothing under the sun is truly new with the force of darkness. So I thought, well, I'm praying. Uh, you know, I want I want to see that this space, space X, X launch goes great. Because, well, first of all, I don't want to see anything happen to these astronauts. And secondly, and thirdly, and fourthly, and fifthly, uh, is um, it's great for Trump. And don't forget, uh, a few weeks ago, um, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, uh, was really attacking the he, the governorship here and the government of California, stating that this whole lockdown was ridiculous. You know, so that you know that that's Elon Musk coming against the deep state by saying that. Yeah, because uh, oh, yesterday I went for a drive yesterday on the coast because it's Memorial Day yesterday. Thank you. UPS outside. Ding dong. I can see them before they see me. Actually, can't even see me. <laughs> Cameras everywhere. <laughs> so I went for a ride yesterday in my Camaro. I took the top down. It's the convertible. Woo! Went down the coast. Oh, gorgeous. Blue sky. Not a cloud in the sky. No chemtrails. People at the beaches. It was like people everywhere. I wasn't at the beaches, but I was on the Pacific Coast Highway. Cruising down the highway, cruising down the highway, and it was just people everywhere on the beaches. I could see, I could, because you're on the highway and you could see the beaches below. Yeah, I thought, Hallelujah! You can't stop the opening of America. Yeah, shit. Now there's there's past pandemics of, of the U.S., but this one's different because the government closed down uh, the businesses, which is totally ridiculous. They didn't do it before, and the other pandemics that hit the U.S. Why? Because we're living in the last times, the end times. And uh, the New World Order wants to stop any progress uh, against them. The darkness wants to go forward. The darkness wants to plan their New World Order and have their headquarters in Jerusalem and stop the return of Jesus Christ at the Battle of Armageddon. That's what it's all about, according to Bible prophecy. And you can see it playing out right now. So I'm saying this because when I read scriptures like, uh, you're not ignorant of the devil's devices, his evil schemes. And there's nothing under the sun that is truly new. History merely repeats itself when, you, when you're dealing with empires and deep state of the New World Order. Because I was looking at, uh, well, I mean, the whole impeachment thing uh, 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 was a scam, a hoax, Russian collusion, a hoax. And then I was looking also here, um, I'll just go back and look at the timeline of when Trump signs the deal with China. So he Trump is dealing with China last 2019 and uh, with the trade deal. So if you look if you look back, uh, Donald Trump signs landmark trade deal with China. Landmark. Trump pronounced the deal a landmark agreement as he shook hands with the Chinese uh, top trade official, Mr. Liu. Momentous, momentous, momentum, right? Uh, so if you look at it, uh, January 15th, but j a couple months before that, some strange, mysterious virus hits China. Then somehow it hits the U.S. right after this trade deal. So you, obviously the deep state knows that China and, 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 and Trump are doing a trade negotiation. And uh, at first China balked a little bit. That's what the news said anyways. But then they came around and said, okay, let's do a trade deal. And all of a sudden you have this, uh, so the trade deal uh, back in January of this year, December, January, January 15, 2020, Mr. Trump pronounced the deal, a landmark agreement. So Trump signs the landmark trade deal with China. And then you have the lockdown right after that, uh, maybe around March. 
All right, China shuts down. The U.S. shuts down. Blah, 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 blah. Every time there's momentum, Trump goes forward. The deep state tries to do something. Do you think this was a pandemic? 100% yes. Do you think that China was hit by China? No. I think that China was hit by the CIA, by uh, secret government agencies in the U.S. and around the world run by the Vatican to try to hit and uh, stop Trump's momentum and his trade deal with China. The biggest, pop, most, uh, biggest country in the world, with people anyway, most populous, happens to get hit at the same time that Trump's doing a deal. All right, then you look at Trump makes the deal, signs it in January 15, 2020. Nothing really changes January, February, then March, shutdown, lockdown, boom, 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 boom. All right, Jan January 15, Trump and China signed phase one trade deal. Uh, CNBC, Washington Times, New York Times, Trump signs trade, trade deal. January 15th, phase one, CBS News. Woo, January 15th, but it goes on, 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 on. Okay, I'm just going, yeah, yeah. You think the, think the new world order, the deep state, just going to sit back and go, oh, well, they did it. And all of a sudden you have the lockdown. Manufacturing, everything gets shut down. And not only in China, which is weird, and in the U.S. No, I do not think that China hit itself. No, I do, not, I do not think that China hit itself. No, I do not th think that China hit itself. No, no, no. Well, China's a communist country. The Vatican is more communist than China. So if you want to talk about communist countries, I, I put the blame on the Vatican, 100%. 100%. You know, I was watching this, the, this, these uh, Discovery Channel, History Channel things uh, on, uh, on the, well, the, where did all the wealth go after World War II when Hitler stole that and he put it underground and, and they haven't recovered a lot of it. Uh, one such program was called the Amber Room. It was filled with uh, amber and diamonds and gold and this, that, and the other that came originally from Russia. Well, the Nazis stole it from Russia. They brought it into Germany. Then it disappeared. Yeah. And people are trying to find underground tunnels and train ways and underground. Well, uh, most likely, 99.999% uh, just follow the... Uh, all the wealth that was siphoned by Hitler out of Europe and around the world was siphoned into the Vatican because Hitler was working for the Vatican. Do you want to find where the Amber Room was from Russia? Look it up. Probably in the Vatican vaults right now. <laughs> and you're saying, Bob. So, you know, you see these trade deals and all of a sudden the economy shuts down. Never before uh, uh, the U.S. has ever been attacked like this by itself, against itself. It's one thing to be hit by, by a disease. I mean, uh, didn't they, uh, they were, they, during the 60s, right? The Woodstock, was it 69? What was it? Uh, there, was a, there was a flu pen or some kind of pandemic, right? But they still had, nobody shut down any, anything. Why did they shut down the economy? Because it Trump's president. Why did they shut down the economy? Because I said Trump is president. Why did they shut down the U.S. economy? It wasn't about COVID-19 or coronavirus. It was about Trump being president. And if you don't know that, you don't know anything about what's going on right now. <laughs> They're losing, of course, right now because America has, has been opening up. And Memorial Weekend was great. Here in California, people out and about. The restaurants are opening. Uh, well, everything's opening up. Maybe not as fast as people want it to, but it's opening up. And that's a, that's a nightmare to the New World Order. They want things closed. They want things stopped all the way up to the election to hurt Trump's re-election. As soon as the election happens, this stuff will be over the way that we know it right now. Now, it's already becoming uh, open right now, but I'm just saying that if the election happened to be in December of last year or January, this this wouldn't there, there would be no lockdown because all of this stuff is trying to attack Trump's re-election 100%. And if you don't know that, you're just fooling yourself. Well, I think everybody knows that they may, they may not admit it. But if people are honest, they know this is this is not right, right? You got these cops, you know, arresting a woman for not wearing a mask, but the cops aren't wearing masks. They rip the woman onto the floor, they put her in handcuffs, but the cops aren't wearing masks. So the the cops that aren't wearing masks arrest the woman for not wearing a mask. What the? <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, the, the doctors from around the world say that masks uh, don't stop a virus anyways because the virus is too small. Viruses just go float right through the masks. It, maybe it's good with bacteria and tuberculosis, but not with virus.
So what's going on? It's an election year. <laughs> All right, Forbes. Uh, and don't forget, I mean, here's one from four days ago. That was back from January of this year, but here's one just four days ago. China pledges to uphold phase one trade deal that includes $200 million. So the, the, now it's, it's rebooting again. People now, I think I think the job numbers, uh, unemployment's going to go way down now. People are starting to get their jobs back and they're going to go back on track. And this is what the deep state doesn't want. They don't want the U.S. to get back on track. All right? So I'm just saying this. What, what has this got to do with SpaceX? Everything. Because I am suspicious that NASA would try to sabotage their own uh, launch. Uh, there's a, a high probability. I'm not saying it will happen. But it, they may try to do something like that because they've done it in the past. NASA is not about, listen, NASA is not about ex space exploration. NASA is about setting up a one world government and a one world religion. You know, you know that, right? Right. It's to, uh, <laughs> How many billions of dollars does NASA get every year? You think they, sp they spend that on telescopes? <laughs> no. NASA is behind the chemtrails. Spraying around the planet. NASA is behind the whole alien thing that when Jesus returned, they blame Jesus' return on, on aliens. And the next rapture happens. You think that NASA gets billions of dollars to try to, you know, we're going to go and, and, you know, put people on Mars? They don't care about Mars. The pictures they send apparently from Mars are from like Arizona or Nevada. What's that? Looks like there's a human shoe on Mars. No, that's because it's in Nevada. Or Arizona. They're not spending billion dollars on things. They'll tell you that. But NASA's job and other U.S. agencies under past U.S. presidents and even under this president without the president knowing. NASA and these agencies are giving billions and billions, un untold billions of dollars to set up a one world government. To set up the whole computer system to, to link the whole earth with the mark of the beast system. When it's finally implemented, the, the computer systems have to be placed. And so they are now. The Mark of the Beast hasn't been implemented yet, hasn't been out, rolled out yet, but it's almost. It can't actually be uh, uh, rolled out until the Christians leave in the next rapture. There's too much uh, uh, power against the New World Order by born-again spiritual Christian spring. Yeah. What? So I'm just saying, uh, I don't trust NASA and the, I don't trust them tomorrow uh, for a number of reasons. Trump's going there. They don't like Trump. It's election year. They want to derail Trump's momentum. They want to make Trump look like a fool. And don't forget, Elon Musk, uh, like I said earlier, you know, he's a, he's a loose cannon against the New World Order. They don't know what he's going to do. They don't know if he's, if he's for the New World Order or if he's against them, but he's against the lockdown, which the deep state doesn't like. And then you have Elon Musk, SpaceX founder, talking good about Trump the other day. Yeah. So I thought, you know, and vice versa. Vice versa. Vice versa. Yeah. And uh, they don't like that. They don't like, oh, so if Elon Musk has any kind of of liking to President Trump and Trump, why do you think Trump's going over there? He obviously likes Elon. It's not, it's, yes, it's about the space program, but it's more than that. You think that, right, they, they, they would try to humiliate the president? Yeah, tomorrow? Humiliate Elon Musk? Humiliate and, and Donald Trump at the same time? Two birds with one stone. I'm not going to take anything off the table. I think that that's definitely uh, on uh, NASA's mind. Whether they go go with it or not, I don't know. Can they get away with it? I don't know. I hope not. I hope it goes without a hitch. Sure. Uh, but NASA doesn't spend their billions on telescopes. They spend their billions on deep state programming and programs around the world. They spend money on chemtrailing. They sp spend money... Uh, they, they work in conjunction with the CIA and the, and the secret uh, intelligence agencies of the U.S. that don't even have names that we know. Oh, yeah. They, NASA also helps, uh, uh, you know, with the whole 5G stuff and vaccinations and Bill Gates. They're all connected. Nazis, because they're all Nazis. Yeah, I wouldn't say everybody in NASA is, but the people that are ruling it, 100%. Trump's not. But Trump's not the whole government, and they're trying to keep all this stuff away from the people and from Trump. Trump's finding out about it and how he can't trust people around him. So let me read some of these articles, and I just I, I, I just put this out there, Bob. I'm just putting this out there. 
Trump to travel to Florida tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. The sun will come out tomorrow. It's only a sleep away. <laughs> Trump to travel to Florida tomorrow to attend SpaceX launch. It will be the first time a private company sends astronauts into orbit. They don't want that under Trump. They don't want that. Any positive nothingness under Trump. So I'm wondering what they're going to do. I think they blame it. If, some, if something does happen, they're not going to blame NASA. They're going to blame oh, it's Elon. Now, is Elon smart enough to check all his stuff? I don't know. Trump will travel to Florida for the historic, historic, historic SpaceX launch tomorrow. Woo, SpaceX's Falcon. Nine rocket and crew dragon. You know, it's just kind of weird. They're calling the crew dragon and crew dragon spacecraft at the crew dragon space dragon spacecraft. You know, that's kind of weird. I don't know. I like the word Falcon. I don't like the name dragon because the, the name dragon in the Bible is the symbol and name for the devil. Yeah, I'm just saying. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon. Spacecraft are being prepared for a historic uh, Demo 2 mission tomorrow. Which will, launch, which, which will launch NASA astronauts. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see SpaceX doing their own stuff not connected to NASA. I'll say that again. I would like to see Elon Musk and SpaceX do their own uh, launching, have nothing to do with, with NASA. Nothing. Not have. Don't use NASA astronauts. Nothing. Use their own astronauts. Yeah. They are. You know, find their own astronauts. <laughs> their own monkeys. I don't care. Send monkeys up. I don't know. But I'd like to see, you know, uh, uh, Elon just cut his ties with NASA. I think NASA needs, uh, well, I, you could say that NASA needs SpaceX more than SpaceX needs NASA. I think so. I think, wow, well, what about the billions of dollars? Ah, you could raise funds. Listen, Elon is a smart guy. He can raise funds somewhere else. So I just don't like this partnership. I just don't like that partnership. I don't like the partnership. <laughs> Tomorrow, which will launch NASA astronauts <laughs> into space from U.S. soil for the first time since 2011. I don't like it. I don't like it. You know, I think that's why one of the reasons why NASA is so behind in space exploration, because they don't care about space exploration. And all their rockets blow up. They, they like when their rock, rockets blow up. Why? You know, no, nobody will say that, but I think NASA does because they don't want to spend money on rockets. They don't want to spend money on space exploration. They want to spend money on chemtrailing you. They want to spend money on anything that can bring the new world order to pass on the deep state. Think about that. Wow. History has to be rewritten. Yeah, well, why not? Think about that. Th think about that, I mean. Has NASA sabotaged its space launches before? Probably, in my humble estimation. Why not? Because they're crazy. Yeah. Uh. Think about that. That's a very interesting line of thought. Yeah. You can do your own research here. It's beautiful outside, by the way, yeah. Well, that's just, that's just a conspiracy. Yeah, it's conspiracy, but it's not, I don't think it's a theory. Five worst accidents in NASA's history. Well, well, well. Here's one. Space.com. NASA remembers three space tragedies. Well, thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. Would... NASA sabotaged their own space program? Well, duh. 
if it pushes their new world order agenda, and I think it does, they don't want to go to the moon. That's why the U.S. doesn't want. To, why? Because they don't want to go to the moon. They want to. They want to bring the deep state new world order here. Wow. I guess I won't send little Johnny to space camp. This. <laughs> I'm just saying, Bob. What's this one? Beep, pop, beep, pop, beep, pop, beep, 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 beep. Five worst accidents in NASA's history. Look at past catastrophic events involving rockets used in NASA's space flight after unmanned commercial supply ship bound for ISIS explodes moments after liftoff. Well, this one's from 2008. 2014, pardon me, yeah. Unmanned commercial supply ship bound for the International Space Station exploded moments after liftoff from a launch pad at Walps, Virginia, blah, blah, blah. What is this? Oh, it's a pop-up. Get rid of this. I'm just talking out loud, Bob. I'm just talking out loud. Not to mention, this, these are unmanned. What about the manned ones that they had, right? And the crews that have been killed. Were they sabotaged by the Nazis in NASA? Whoa! Well, I'll take it a little bit further. Uh, probably. Why not? They're a bunch of Nazis, and they're deep state, and they're crazy. And they're not trying to do things in Mars. They're trying to sabotage things on the Earth. So, yeah, why not? I think that NASA was also behind 9-11 in 2001. <laughs> like it or lump it. Why not? They're giving billions of dollars for secret uh, missions, not in space, but on the Earth. You know, why not use why not want NASA satellites to shoot things on the Earth and explode up? Yeah, I, I've heard satellites blew up the whole uh, the BP uh, caused the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. I heard reports that they, people saw uh, laser beams also on the Twin Towers. You don't believe some of that stuff? Why not? You have an agency that was created by the Nazis with this fascism and still run by this fascist spirit. Why wouldn't they destroy people on the earth? Whatever. You can look at, you know, I'm just saying, okay, I'm going back to this. I, I can go into all the bunch. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? And I think most probably yes. Especially when I see, uh, someone sent me a video the other day, and it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, it was leaked information on NASA's website about what they do with, for the deep state around the world. They want to depopulate the Earth. They want to depopulate the Earth. NASA wants to depopulate the Earth. I say NASA wants to depopulate the Earth. I'll say it again. NASA wants to depopulate the Earth. So all this money that that NASA gets, they don't use it for space exploration. They use it to screw the Earth. Let me see. How much money? How much is the dog in the window? How much does NASA get every year from government? It's got to be billions. Yeah, think about that. The budget of NASA. What the annual budget? Here we go. Here we go. Thebalance.com. NASA's $25.2 billion budget. You can do a lot of harm with that. Yeah. But here's another one. The American public, on average, believes NASA's bu budget has much larger share of the federal budget than it actually does. People believe. See, people don't really believe NASA is what it says. Yeah. Here's one. Forbes.com from 2016. Is NASA worth the money we spend on it? No, no, no. This video I saw, it was a leaked information on the NASA's website. Well, I don't know who leaked it. I think it was about ooh, nine years ago, several years ago. And they said that NASA, on, the, on their own website, the, I was reading, uh, listening to the video on, on their leaked information. I don't know who put it on the website. They're involved with the chemtrail. They're involved, involved with depopulation. They're involved with mind control. And, and it goes on and on. So everything that we hear about the deep state, NASA is involved with it. It's crazy. 
2016, NASA's budget was 19.3 billion. Well, this year it's 25.2. Well, for 2021. Now they're always going to say from NASA Gov website, oh, NASA technology provides economic benefit across the world. <laughs> It does not. It does not. I'll say that again. No, no. NASA needs to be shut down. Put the money, give it to SpaceX. Give it to Elon. Elon can, you know, at least it will be oversight. Give the $22 billion to Elon. Let him do a space program. He, he would do a great program. NASA, fire them. Get rid of them. Because NASA has roots to, well, it's run by fascists. I know that may blow some people's minds up. Hey, I can't believe it. Well, believe it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's very strange that people don't even know that Jesus Christ uh, came to die for them and that their sins can be washed away. And if they don't have their sins washed away, they're going to go to hell. You know, people don't, you know how people don't know that on the earth? <laughs> I mean, that's like 101. That's like uh, kindergarten stuff in the Bible. Yeah, I mean, the first things you learn. You should learn anyways. And yet, people around the world don't even know that except that walk in that. You tell them stuff like this. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Because people's capacity to believe and know things comes from their inner person, their spirit, not their brain. Your brain's just part of your body that your spirit uses. So if your spirit's not healed, if your spirit's not alive by Jesus Christ and his Holy Spirit, you're the dumbest person on the earth. Yeah, and I'm, I don't care how much uh, uh, information you download to your hard drive called your brain, trying to remember stuff. You you will not unlock most of your brain because your most of your brain cannot be used unless the Holy Spirit activates it through your spirit. They say a very small percentage of your brain is being used. That's because it has to be connected to the power of the Holy Spirit flowing inside of you. So you're dumb, but the Holy Spirit is saying. Boy, oh boy, I'm covering everything from A to Z today. Well, it's all connected. Dragon spacecraft. First time a private company rather than the national government sends astronauts into orbit. I believe nothing NASA says. Nothing. They are one of the, probably the, or c close to the, number one wicked agency on the planet. Very interesting. Well, I just know what I know. Uh, well, it will also be the only. Uh, it will also be only the fifth time in his U.S. history that NASA astronauts will fly a new spacecraft for the first time. With all that money, every spacecraft should have been new. Yeah. Now again, will NASA do something tomorrow? I hope not. Will they allow it to go because they 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 can't get away with stuff? Is Elon Musk so far ahead of NASA that NASA has to try to join Elon to Elon Musk to uh, try to control him? Will they allow it to go off in order to control Elon? All these factors come in, but if it's if it's successful tomorrow and this launch goes off without a hitch and, and everything goes great from Florida. Trump's there and goes to the International Space Station, U.S. astronauts. Uh, it'll be a big boost for Trump. It'll be like, woo, Memorial Day every day. It'll be like Fourth of July. It'll be like, this will be great for Trump. I hope it is. A new era of human space flight is to begin, NASA said in a statement. I believe nothing that they say. Oh, sure, it's supposed to be. I mean, why, why, why are the Russians sending people to the International Space Station all the time? If American astronauts want to go to the ICE, ICE, yeah, I think it's kind of a strange name. You know, we're dealing with ICE all the time, and it's named ICE. Anyway, the ISS. Uh, if the U.S. astronauts want to go to the International Space Station, orbiting there, uh, they have to use the Russian astronauts. I mean, spacecraft. So Russia has all this technology, and and China. But NASA sucks, and they get $20 billion every year. What do they do with their money? Because their space program sucks. They're not spending their money on what they're telling us they're spending their money on. The launch will serve as a sign of hope for Americans in the midst of a coronavirus pandemic. A plandemic. 
And the rocket goes off. It'll remind the American people that even in the midst of the most challenging times, America still moves forward. <laughs> well, it's supposed to when the presidents aren't deep state. I'm just saying. Wait, 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 wait. America continues to lead with courage and with bravery. <laughs> Not with deep state presidents, they don't. Plus, the American people are great. The American presidents are dopes for the last 150 years. Vatican red, uh, led and control puppets. And when they try to get away from being uh, puppeteered by the Vatican, then they'll try to kill them, like JFK and Bobby Kennedy and Ronald Reagan tried to break the strings and they tried to shoot him too. Just saying. I'm just saying. So we've got a born again, spirit filled Christian in the White House, not part of the cabal. We're going to see what happens tomorrow, Bob. Just like every American family has done, the NASA family did that throughout the coronavirus pandemic. They stayed on mission. No, they did. Liars. It was Elon. The Demo 2 mission is scheduled tomorrow, May 27th, at the Kennedy Space Center when NASA astronauts. <laughs> Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin will launch on the Falcon 9 rocket. I hope it goes without a glitch. Like I said, maybe they don't have any control of Elon. Maybe they're just observing, hope, hopefully, right? Hopefully NASA doesn't touch anything. It will signify a step in the Trump administration's goal to reestablish American dominance in space. Why hasn't it been dominant, dominant, dominant? Well, they, they, NASA is not there to be dominant in space. They're here to control the Earth. They don't care about you know putting people on the moon. They haven't gone there. Maybe maybe they haven't gone there at all. I don't know. Some people say that NASA lied about it. They lie about everything else. Well, uh, it's highly probable. NASA doesn't care about space exploration. They care about putting satellites to destroy people on the Earth. NASA only wants like these killer satellites in the sky. And they want all these, uh, the money they ha they get, they want to cause uh, harm on the earth to control the planet. I know what I know. All right, just go look up NASA leaked documents on uh, NASA's website and just look at all the evil they've been doing for years and years and years, I think, since the beginning, since after World War II. Anyways, it says here, foxbusiness.com, it will signify a step in the Trump administration's goal to reestablish. Re That's just weird. Reestablish. All the billions you think that NASA would do, would be the leader of space exploration and space travel and... S yeah. No, no, they don't want to. Right? The same people that run the Federal Reserve run NASA. That run the Pentagon. They run the CIA and the FBI, and they're all connected to the Vatican. All right. In December 2019 of last year, Trump signed a defense spending bill authorizing the creation of the Space Force as the sixth branch of the U.S. military. I'm just saying, you got you to include this because what are they up to? Space Force recently released a recruitment video telling potential cadets, maybe your purpose on this planet isn't for this planet. Isn't on this planet. <laughs> Don't trust NASA. Don't trust them. They are Nazis. <laughs> Don't let them in. Yeah. No, I know. I, it may sound weird, but I know what I know. Don't forget John 10, 10, the thief's per the thief, the, the, those that work for the fallen angels, their purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus' purpose to give people rich and satisfying life, life and life abundantly. That's not the deep state. The deep state's purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy. Steal, kill, and destroy. And you can see their patterns on the earth. Well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. And it's going to be huge. I want to talk about today, before tomorrow, so people can pray and keep their eyes open. But I hope that Elon, I hope it goes without a glitch. I hope Elon goes forward, and I hope that Elon separates from NASA. But there's a huge possibility that NASA continues to get their hand, anything they get their hands on, they wreck. You know, like, let's like Obama. Barack Obama works for the deep state. Anything he touches, he always wrecks. He can put $2 billion on a website. Barack Obama's Obamacare website never worked. You throw $2 billion on a website, what are you, nuts? Same thing with NASA. Why? Because they're cursed. 
Bible says when you work with Jesus, everything you put your hand to prospers. It's blessed. But when you work for the fallen angels and demon spirits in the Vatican and the deep state, everything you put your hands to is cursed. You could throw a, a $10 trillion at them and they still wouldn't do anything good. They have to lie about everything they're doing. Because the money that is given to them and other agencies, and not only the U.S. agencies, but agencies around the world, they're not doing what they're saying they're doing. Now, unless you're a, a, a country that's totally separate from the New World Order. And then we'll try to attack you in the media. Like Russia has pulled away from the New World Order and the Vatican control. And that's why Russia is always portrayed as the bad guy in the news. China, even though they have a communist government, they have millions and hundreds of millions of born-again spiritual Christians in their country. China has been evolving from a totally creepy, old-school communist country to more of an entrepreneurial uh, uh, country. Uh, communist. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They're trying to follow Russia. They're trying to follow the U.S., right? In, uh, in money. Yeah. And, you know, this, that, that. Sure. So... China's communist government has been evolving. Uh, and the deep state has lost a lot of their control over China. That's why China is always portrayed as the bad guy in the news as well. But the Vatican's never... The Vatican, the worst country on the planet, the Vatican, uh, they're never blamed for anything. I was just looking at uh, articles today. It was Iranian ships full of oil and gas... One of their ships just made it to Venezuela. The Vatican-U.S. connection puts sanctions on Venezuela so they can't even use their own resources to help their economy. And uh, Iran says, we're going to go help Venezuela no matter what. So Venezuela Venezuela has, has is being helped by Iran. Now, the cover story is, well, Iran's evil, and, and Iran's evil, and, and Venezuela's evil, and you have evil countries helping evil countries. And that's not the case whatsoever. Not in a million years. Iran is hated by the Vatican and the New World Order because Iran won't give over their, the, give over their banking system to the Vatican's control. Now, they'll blame it on Islam in, in Iran, but it's actually not about Islam. That's the cover story about Iran being the wicked country. It's about I Iran not giving over their banking system to, to the New World Order and to the Vatican banks and total control. So you have this outcast country, Iran, sending help to Venezuela, and Venezuela is the devil, according to the media. Well, since when do we believe the media about anything? They're fake news. So when the media says you know, Venezuela is the devil, you got to know that Venezuela isn't the devil. So you have this Iranian, Iran sending help to Venezuela. There should never be any sanctions against the Venezuelan government by the U.S. and Vatican sanctions. Zero. The poverty you see in Venezuela is not caused by socialism. It's caused by Vatican U.S. sanctions. Now they blame it as a cover story on, on socialism, but it's not. <laughs> I'm liking it, love it. I know, baby. What's going on? All right, I'm out of here. Will NASA sabotage SpaceX flight tomorrow? I don't know. Hope not. Will they try to derail Trump's space plans? Will they try to derail everything else Trump does? We shall see and we shall pray and we shall hope and we shall uh, expose and we shall continue. But I know who they are from the beginning. And I know what they do and I know what they've been doing and I know what they're up to. And I don't trust NASA whatsoever. I trust them not. No, zero. <laughs> we have to put the piece together. All right? We're the only people on the earth that know anything. Born again, spirit-filled Christians on the earth. We're the only people that know anything. Now, people say that Christians are born again, spirit-filled, uh, but they don't spend any time with Jesus or the Holy Spirit. They don't, they don't obey the Holy Spirit. They don't know nothing. 50% of all people on the earth that claim Jesus and the Holy Spirit are not true Christians in the last days. 50% of Christians worldwide are dumb, are unanointed. And if Jesus was to come back today, they wouldn't go in the next rapture. Jesus told that in the parable of the ten virgins or ten Christians. I'm just saying, you're ready? You're, listen, if you're not ready, you're crazy. If you're not born again, spirit-filled, I just say you're crazy. You're crazy. You're living uh, on thin ice, and you could go to hell any second. And then you got to live on the earth uh, with your own strength. What are you, crazy? What do you want, the devil and the deep state? Give your life to Jesus. Jesus, wash my sins away. Fill me. Forgive me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. How hard is that? Get in the Bible, read it, and do it. Watch my videos. 
Let's pray. Father, we just pray for this whole thing tomorrow. This whole SpaceX program, uh, Elon Musk, NASA, ugh, cash in your hands, we pray for your intervention. We pray that you would expose and do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm not trying to figure it out. Thank you, Father, by your spirit, in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. I'm in the chat room. Matthew's in the house. How you doing? Maranatha to you. Uh, Joyce in the house. Joyce e. PSP Craft. How are you, Denise? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see some of your comments. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm in the house. How you doing? Yeah, Trump. Uh, yeah, tr I mean, Trump is is a good guy trying to do stuff for this country and put America first and make America great again. That's but that flies in the face of the new world order. The new world order doesn't want America to be great again. It wants to be Amer wants America to be crappy. That's why 150 years of crappy U.S. presidents working with the Vatican have t put this country in the hole. Uh, it's been the grace of God that has kept this country from falling. Eight, and, and then on top of all that, eight years of Barack Obama. I mean, it's a miracle. It's a miracle that this country wasn't destroyed by Barack Obama. He's coming back into power for 42 months in the near future during the Great Tribulation. And I'm going to be gone in the next rapture during that. But anyways, yeah, it was a miracle, the hand of God in the fabric of this country that Barack Obama and Biden, doofus Biden, didn't destroy this country being president and vice president for eight years. Evil, wicked, antichrist didn't destroy this country because Jesus was not finished with this country. And Jesus had Trump up his sleeve. Oh, boo! <laughs> Jesus is saying the best for last. Yeah, but th this, is, this, is the, this is the calm before the storm. We only have a short period of time left before Jesus Christ return. So he's going to resist Jesus through the, his people by spirit on the earth over and over every day, every day until the next rapture, then the great tribulation and the return of Jesus at the battle of Armageddon. And he sets up his thousand-year reign in Jerusalem, and then we go from there. Yeah. Great time to be alive if you're born against spirit field. If you're not, sucks to be you. All right, I'm out of here. DearLaws.com is my website. Thanks for your prayers and financial support. 56 minutes, 51 seconds. I'm out of here. Pass the video on. I'll see you later. God bless you. DearLaws.com. Bye for now.